Hi, welcome back to another episode of Campus Consistence. I'm Andrea. This is Caleb, my right hand man. That's all he is. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm the right hand <laughs> man, but I'm on the left side. Anyways. We got a very special edition this time. We're talking about relationships. We get into the nitty gritty, picking at y'all's brains, just what's going on in y'all personal lives. Yeah, we getting all up in y'all today. You just can't say stuff like that, Caleb. <laughs> you can't do that. Anyways, real excited. So, you ready? Let's get into it. Go. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, I have a lovely couple with me today. Uh, can I ask how long y'all have been together? No? How long have we been together? Uh, a few months. A few months? Yeah. Okay, y'all look real happy, so, you know, yeah. I just figured it was a long you know, type of relationship. Okay, so my first question is, do you expect the man to pay on the first date? No. No, I do not. I mean, if he asks you out, you should pay. So it's like book, like he should pay? I mean, be smart and bring your own money, just in case. But like, if you're like, oh, let's go on a date, I expect you to pay. I really do believe, I guess, like at least the, fir the first date, the guy should pay. Mm -hmm. But if we get into like a group, I'm definitely like, I'm willing to pay. I mean, I think like for a guy, you should definitely offer mm -hmm. like twice, I think. Cause like now, like, I feel like a lot of girls will be like, they want to, like, they'll ask to split it. Mm -hmm. But I think a guy offers twice and they'll have to two times and just, just drop it, you know? How do you feel about the one time cheating pass? In a relationship. In a, rela in a whole relationship. Yeah, you're in a whole relationship. We're dedicated this is to each other. Mm -hmm. No. No. <laughs> no. Never. Not a crowd. No, it's like, you just broke up with me. Mm -hmm. That's it. No, there would have to be a lot of convincing to get me to get over that. I definitely put in like a lot of work to relationships. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate when people value that. No, you shouldn't find a cheating. So even if he just accidentally just fell into some, you know? You don't accidentally fall into things. You see signs. Nah. No. Nah, not at all. Why? I mean, if you let it happen once, you're gonna let it happen multiple times, you know what I mean? Do you think it's okay for your significant other to have a best friend of the opposite sex? Uh, yes and no, it depends. Um, the guy or should, you know, uh, see the, the, the best friend and um, if they're close, mm -hmm. then that should be fine, yeah. Right. When I become your boyfriend, I'm your best friend, your husband, you know what I'm saying? I'm everything to you. Why do you need other friends? I think it's fine. Um, I think you just need to know if you know the person and that person also has a significant other, mm -hmm. um, if you're also friends with the person. I absolutely think it's okay. okay. Because, I mean, first off, if they've been friends for that long, probably, like, if they would have dated, it probably would have happened. Yes, fair. Yeah, it's okay. So does attractiveness matter or no. it doesn't matter? I mean, so call, I mean, attractiveness does matter at some it point. It does matter. But it think does it, matter. I think it only depends if they're like over an eight. Yeah, in general, I think it's like an, a seven or eight. eight or a, no, okay, there's got to be like it a depends point, on how hot the a other point person or is. two above. Like how hot are you? How hot is the other person? Like add those together, divide it by two to find an average. Do they have a boyfriend? And then add like a solid like another two. Should I get my calculator? I, should, I feel like I should get my calculator out so we can. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another episode of Campus Consensus. As you see, we got in a thicket of people's opinions on relationships. So, you know, hopefully y'all enjoy. What does thicket even mean? Do you know, have y'all ever heard the word thicket? Please tell us if you've ever heard the word.